Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my channel. We are doing the career and job series of the Dashamsha chart. Now, you can do any amount of analysis, right? There's Google, there's Chat GPT, there's 1001 websites of Vedic astrology. You can find out through Nakshatra which career, etc., etc. What I'm laying out here is the basic stuff. You can do more research. You can contradict me if you like. I'm ready to be wrong. If you want the introduction, watch the first one in this basic principles, what I'm using as rules for D10. But here's the thing, personal note. What is your career? What are you looking for in terms of career? For all you young people who are still to step out into the world, what are you looking for in terms of career? You are looking for some way you can be productive. You can earn your money. You can feel a sense of success when your talents connect to your career. If there's a link between talent and your whatever work you're doing, in order to earn that money, in order to be successful in the world, success is this in my definition. Talent meets your work fully. The more integrated it is, the more successful you'll feel. It's an internal process. Success is felt. Not some accolades world is going to give you or not your bank balance. That won't work. It never has, it never will. Okay? We have come to the fourth nakshatra of Rohini. Let's get into it right away. So there you are, Rohini Nakshatra. What does it fourth Nakshatra of Rohini now? Rohini, you understand, it falls squarely within Taurus. It's the heart of Taurus, which is ruled by Venus. You always got to keep the main sign in picture when you talk of Nakshatra also. Dispositor changes, yeah? So Venus in, Ro in uh, Taurus is an earthly sign. It's a fixed sign. It's a female sign. So it's all about materialistic pursuits. The peak of materialistic pursuits is in Rohini, and you can see that. Its ages active are 11, 24, 30, 36, 29, 63, 72, etc. So I would say 24, 30, 36 will be crucial for Rohini considering the career ages, right? Maybe even 29 up till 63, right? So, what are the talents and abilities inherent to Rohini Nakshatra? Finance and banking. Like I said, everything to do with materialistic pursuits, finance and banking may have a natural affinity for finance, accounting or banking. They may excel as financial analysts, investment bankers, accountants or in roles related to wealth management. When you look at this first part, through the chart, through the D10 chart which we are going to do by ascendant now, because Rohini appears in every ascendant but in different houses. Now, finance and banking, you got to look for the planet Sun and Venus. Not necessarily in Rohini, but in the chart. How it is playing out, how one is aspecting the other, so on and so forth. You also got to look at, if you talk about banking, you got to look at Venus and Mars. Just note the Venus presence everywhere through this entire list. Next, what else would Rohini Nakshatra be good for in terms of career? Arts and music may possess a strong artistic inclination or talent. They may excel in the fields such as painting, music, singing, acting or any other form of artistic expression. When you talk of artistic expression, you got to look for the planets Sun and Venus combination or how they are aspecting or if they are in Rohini Nakshatra. You got to also look at Jupiter and Venus combination and or aspects of you got to look at Jupiter and Moon and aspects thereof. Okay, when you talk of arts and music for Rohini. In terms of food and hospitality, they are also good in careers. Rohini is very early in sign, right? Brahma, it's a creative energy deity. So any form of creative expression, food is also Brahma, right? May have a knack for culinary arts or hospitality industry, hotel management, restaurants, cafes. They may excel as chefs, restauranteurs, hotel managers or in roles related to food and beverage management. Now, for food and hospitality part, you got to look at the D10 chart and see where the planets Mercury and Venus are placed or where the combination of planets Mercury, Venus and Rahu is present. Because Rahu is also creative amplification. Amplification of Mercury or amplification of Venus, both, right? And it depends which house they are placed. But you got to look at these planets as a focal point. If you want to see, oh, am I good in hotel management? I got to look at these planets in the D10 chart. 
Keep in mind from the rules perspective also the deities which angles they fall in. Are you an innovator kind of cooking? Let's say I'm giving an example. Do you want to put on fine dining restaurants or do you want to put on a utility stuff like an everyday thing where people have a breakfast and go? Difference. Fine dining is different from that. Fine dining, I would say, would be combination of Venus with Rahu. Rahu wants everything blown out of proportion, right? Fine dining is what? Just the same food in a fancy place. Fancy is Rahu. Utility would be just Mercury and Venus, for example, for a cafe. Luxury goods and fashion. There's another good thing Rohini might be good at in terms of career. May have an eye for beauty, fashion and aesthetics. They may thrive in careers related to luxury goods, fashion design, jewellery or in roles that involve curating and promoting high-end products. Once again, high-end products, I have stuck in Rahu there. The combination you got to look for with Rohini Nakshatra in this is Rahu, Venus and Sun. Rahu will give that fine dining experience, the luxury portion of it. Fashion is all to do with Venus and Sun. Sun will give you that fame. You might have, 20,000 people have fashion shops, but they hardly make it anyway. Nobody has heard of it apart from the people in your lane. You see the difference? Sun will give that fame. Sun will shine on it. Agriculture and land related professions. Another one thing, Rohini is very early sign. Taurus may have an affinity for working with land or nature. They may excel in careers such as farming, horticulture, landscaping or real estate. Again, the planets you have to look for, for those careers in this case will be Mars, Venus and Moon. Okay. Last one, they may also be good at counseling and therapy. This is unique considering it's Rohini Nakshatra one might think, right? They may have a natural ability to provide emotional support and guidance to others. They may excel in careers as counselors, therapists, psychologists or in roles that involve helping or improving other people's lives and their well-being. When I thought of this, Rohini Nakshatra and counselors, you know, it's like... Then I thought of Krishna. Lord Krishna's nakshatra is Rohini. What was Krishna? Guess what? He was the best counsellor. Right? The Bhagavad Gita. The counselling. Counselling 101. It can't get any better than Bhagavad Gita. Right? So that's Rohini's general characteristics. Okay? Let's get into the specifics of the ascendant. Now for an Aries ascendant. We have the Aries ascendant here. So Rohini falls in the second house. The second house is values. In D10 chart, second house stands for your values at work. What kind of value system do you have? What do you value? You value your time, you value your position, you value people listening to you. Value system can differ. Your value system at work, how you speak to colleagues because it's a house of speech. Especially your superiors, I would put it because it's elder brothers in native chart, second house. So in workplace, it might become your superiors, your supervisors, immediate supervisors, and your earned wealth also. So here you might put, if at all, in finance and banking industry, because it's a house of wealth, that could be one. If you look at these planets combination, yeah, that could be one possibility. What else is possible in second stuff where we put value for it so it might be also in terms of luxury goods and fashion because it's all about value right that can happen and therefore we might look at rahu venus and sun combination that's for aries ascendant and rohini nakshatra in terms of the taurus ascendant it comes in the ascendant itself right because rohini comes in the ascendant here so this, uh, whenever the nakshatra of the ascendant itself is guiding, you should consider all of these as qualities which they will take to their area of work. One or more of this, let's just put it in a generic sense. Okay. Suited career as per personality with nakshatra, innate talents for life in profession. That's what the ascendant nakshatra in D10 says. This is the qualities you can take to your professions. I have seen like some people in the D10, they have multiple once, not all, some multiple talents of these kinds will be dominant in their personality trait. This is very useful to understand and it's ignored largely. Okay, so in the first house, all are suitable. So you got to check for all of these planets and the rest of the other planets which are placed. That's Rohini in the Ascendant. 
for the Gemini ascendant, Rohini comes in the twelfth house, the house of foreign places, the house of working behind the scenes. Okay, hidden enemies, loss of job, retirement, working abroad. So, in terms of career, we might think of if you say I want to work abroad, twelfth house is where one looks at also working behind the scenes, not really in the front end, but the back end of things. That's also twelfth house. So in all of these terms, finance and backing also comes in working behind the scenes, right? People who are working in banking industry, they are not in the forefront of things. They never in the media, they are in the back end of things. So you might want to look at this combination of planets. What else could be working uh, in terms of working abroad? Like food and hospitality could be one, right? That can be going working abroad in, in terms of culinary arts right arts and music it can be all of this really speaking except i would say last two agriculture and land related professions counseling does not really apply to this nature of the 12th house let's put it that way for the cancer ascendant roini comes in the 11th house which is about fulfillment at career financial success community and social network Social network is the dominant thing coming to me right now. So in terms of social network, which one of these careers do you think is more sociable? Food and hospitality, hospitality industry, hey, resorts, hotels. These days we have all kinds of fancy resorts everywhere. Tourism and hotel industry is picking up since the pandemic ended. So hospitality industry, tourism is very social network oriented. Arts and music, well, okay. Banking, not so much. Arts and music, kind of. Luxury goods and fashion. So I would put these two, right? Food and hospitality industry or luxury goods. If there are dominant number of these planets or points which are aspecting this particular house and to Rohini Nakshatra or conjuncting in Rohini Nakshatra in the 11th for a Cancer Ascendant, which is all water signs. So Cancer Ascendant is basically you need to look at what Ascendant is there here in the D10. Okay. We are talking about Rohini Nakshatra basis. So we are talking about planets in Rohini Nakshatra. But even the Cancer ascendant, ascendant is somewhere here, no? In between Punarvasu, Pushya and Ashlesha. One of these points ascendant will be there. So you got to go to the one of these Nakshatra, which I will come to later, and then check. Ascendant is here, but more number of planets and points are in Rohini. Therefore, this is the and you got to check with the individual are you good at this do you want to do this, this kind of career always work one on one there's no point doing predictive stuff in this day and age everything is changing very fast there will be a big mistake so for a Leo ascendant Rohini will fall in the 10th house now 10th house rules Saturn rules the uh, D10 chart so you got to look at Saturn, Sun, where they are placed. Are they expecting this 10th house and if more number of planets are situated in Rohini? All of these considerations are there. But let's say for a Leo, what does Leo want? Leo wants leadership in whatever they are doing, right? And now we are talking about these kind of planets bunched here in Rohini in the 10th house. So I would say they would be good at finance and banking, more like leadership in that region. Leo looks for leadership. Arts and music depends. If it's Puro Falguni, you can say. If Ascendant is in Puro Falguni and planets like Venus and uh, Sun are present here, the Lord of the First is present in the 10th in Rohini, well, this person might become popular in music, right? Because it's Rohini. That could be one of it. Food and hospitality, leadership, not so much. Luxury goods and fashion, yes, that could be a possibility. If Rahu is aspecting the 10th house and Venus and Sun are present there from somewhere else, let's say Rahu is sitting here, right? Not this one. Let's say it's present here, then it will aspect this house and it will aspect that house. So you might want to earn money through luxury goods and fashion. Could be possible. And Leo wants leadership. If it's in Puro Falguni with this combination, it could be a very dominant recipe for wanting, desiring, working through fame in regards to luxury goods and fashion industry. Going to Paris, you know, going to well, fashion industry, the catwalk, right? Okay, for a Virgo ascendant, the earth sign, 
Rohini comes in the ninth house of working abroad. Good luck, mentors at work. But let's see, uh, Virgo. Virgo want, is looking for grounding. Virgo is not really looking for gurus. So it might be more to do with working abroad. Rohini, these planets dominant in Rohini for a Virgo ascendant might be different. Okay. So it might have more to do with food and hospitality industry. Virgo loves food and hospitality industry. It's an earthy sign, right? And food and hospitality resorts and everything abroad, cruise liners, you name it, right? There are so many international cruise liners now. So it might indicate that because they are constantly moving about. This is a house of travels, long distance travels. That could be one of the things. I'm just giving you broad hints. You have to look at this slide more and analyze more. For a Libra Ascendant, it comes in the 8th house. 8th house is for ups and downs in career, change of job, joint assets, business partnerships. Well, Libra is always interested in partnership and businesses, right? What kind of talent here would help that? What requires cooperation, partnership? I would think luxury goods and fashion and food and hospitality to an extent that would require partnership. So you got to look for these planets if you want to see in terms of joint assets and in terms of partnership. But because it is partnership, you got to look at the seventh house also, whether it is placed well. Suppose this, uh, the seventh house in case of Libra ascendant is Ashwini, Bharani or Kritika. So if it is in Ashwini, for example, they might want to initiate partnership with this house and this house planets. Would be a possible thing. For a Scorpio ascendant, Rohini appears in the house opposite to them. So this is about business partnership itself. But Scorpio is a very emotional, introverted sign. So if you want partnership kind of thing for Scorpio, I would put ascendant on Anuradha Nakshatra because Anuradha is more about friendship. They know about friendship and loyalty and partnership and those kind of things very well. Not so much Jeshta, not so much Vishaka. Vishaka, okay, yes, Vishaka possible. Jeshta, definitely not possible. The ascendant should be one of these two, Vishaka or Anuradha. That's possibility. If there are planets of these kinds, whichever require partnership, let's say luxury goods or fashion, good in hospitality, resorts, hotels, restaurants, etc. You might partner those. And those are present in Rohini here. While Ascendant is present in Anuradha or Vishakha, definitely a possibility for them and to have as a career. For the Sagittarius Ascendant, it comes in the 6th house. Rohini comes to the 6th house, which is enemies, opposition, also daily routine, you might say. What is more like a daily routine here? Well, all are. Definitely not arts and music. It's not a routine to create anything. Finance, yes. Finance and banking, definitely possible. Food and hospitality, yes. Luxury fashion, not so much. Land, again, not so much because Sagittarius is looking for passion to do things. I think it will be luxury goods and fashion. Maybe food and hospitality industry. Only these two I can see there having as a career. For the Capricorn Ascendant, Rohini comes in the fifth house. Fifth house is creativity at work. The body needs work, so creativity, it's creative intelligence being used at work. Again, arts and music comes very dominantly here. Food and hospitality, luxury goods, all these three figure in. All these three, arts and music, food and hospitality, and luxury goods and fashion require creative intelligence at hand, right? You need to have this in order to move. But Capricorn is a grounded energy. Capricorn wants to use this if they want to use it in the house of career. In the house of career, there is Libra. So you need to have some planets in Swati also in Libra if you want to go for arts and music. Because Swati has a sense of independence. I want to bring independent stuff. And Rohini Nakshatra or let's say Mars or Venus. Right? They want the originality there. So Swati Nakshatra presence is required. Maybe Venus in Swati there and aspected by you know, Rahu from the 6th or something like that. And other planets, which are Venus, Mercury, Mars, or Mars, sorry, Venus, Mercury, and Rahu. 
right even if venus is present there they can make arts and music if rahu is sitting there and aspecting the 10th house so one think in this terms so what does the house bring and what are the lords of this house in this case lord of the 10th house is venus for a capricorn ascendant but capricorn depending upon wherever the ascendant is is more of a practical sign they want materialistic stuff it can be even agriculture and land related professions say because it's an earth sign it could the same principle could apply for taurus as well as for virgo because they have to do with land and agriculture related stuff also they are an earth sign so this kind of principles need to work for the aquarius ascendant air sign now when he appears in the fourth house air sign what can be good for an air sign is probably composing art some music that kind of a thing air sign not so much food and hospitality but luxury goods and fashion yes counseling and therapy certainly yes right because it's in the fourth house emotional house so if moon is present here counseling what do you require rahu moon and mercury so if Ra- and rahu is exalted here because it's a sign of taurus rahu and moon are exalted suppose rahu and moon are here and it's looking at the houses 8 and 12 and if mercury is placed here in the 8th house and rahu is impacting that these people will be natural counselors because the ascendant is an air sign mental sign you need mental intellectual capacity and depth of perception inside you as an innate quality if you want to become a good psychiatrist psychoanalyst counselor blah 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 right you definitely need those that could be one very good career for them Lastly, for the Pisces ascendant, the water sign, Rohini comes in the third house. Peers, colleagues, drive skill sets. What requires more skill in the third house? Considering the third house is the development of skill, arts and music, yes, definitely. Finance and banking, definitely not. It's a highly dumb subject. Finance and banking, too overrated. Simply because the whole world is after money doesn't make it brilliant. Creativity is more in arts and music, yes. in that list food and hospitality yes luxury goods and fashion yes last two definitely not so i would put arts music food and hospitality industry luxury goods and fashion at the top when it comes to number 3 and check for those planets and points which are present always think the ascendant nakshatra also ascendant if it's in a water sign in this case being 12 well is ruled by what again you have to start using your analysis and intuition 12th house lord is who jupiter jupiter has more in arts and music over here so if rohini nakshatra has let's say mars and sun together here right in rohini nakshatra and jupiter is placed over here in the ascendant in revati it rules right revati will give them popularity and it will make them get educated in the field of arts could be a thing right i'll leave you with this and next one we shall be dealing with which nakshatra is this now we are in rohini mrugshirsha the head of a deer next one we will be dealing with that meanwhile take care be safe